All right, welcome to the show. Got a uh, pretty good size haul here today. Typical stuff, movies, toys, books. So I'll go ahead and get started with uh, movies. Not a whole lot this week, but these are really, 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 really nice. Well done. Best Buy exclusive still books. First one up is Evil Dead 1 and 2. It's got both movies on here. It's a really cool still book. Did I need more copies of Evil Dead 1 and 2? No. Was I not going to buy this? No. That's awesome. And then they also released a original Halloween, the John Carpenter 78 classic. Again, I've probably got 15 copies of this movie. But they keep releasing still books like this. I'm probably going to pick them up because this is really nice. Got a really nice fall vibe to it. He's turned into the leaves here. Got Jamie Lee on the back. Hoping these look really nice. And then we'll go ahead and start on toys. Uh, these are got some Walmart exclusive stuff and our Walmart never has anything so I happen to be in a different town and went inside their Walmart and they had quite a quite a bit of stuff I had never seen before and um, they had this one particular line called Raw 10 and it's a Walmart exclusive line it's from McFarland I don't know if you can see the little the little spawn skull there but it's a McFarlane toy line, and um, I wasn't going to pick any of these up. I'll show you the rest of what's in the series here. Wasn't going to pick them up, but I, then I looked at this guy and I thought, this would look really cool next to Cobra Commander. Kind of like something he would have Dr. Mindbender whip up. So I went ahead and bought it, and that's probably what I'm going to do with it. So, pretty cool figure, rubbery. It was cheap. It was like nine dollars. And then they did have what I went in there for. I went in there for the new retro uh, Masters of the Universe figures. And of course they only had two. They had Skeletor and He-Man out of this line. But these look like they did when I was a kid. They're a little more articulated but the packaging is pretty much the same as I remember from when I was a real little kid. And there's uh, some other figures in the line. But the only ones they had at Walmart were the Skeletor and the He-Man. And I chose just to get the Skeletor because so I'm a real big Skeletor fan. Always kind of like the villains more just because they looked so much cooler back in the 80s than the heroes typically did. Not a big fan of the, the Prince Adam bowl cut thing that he had, always had going on. This is an awesome figure, and while I was in there, I kind of felt like the toy gods were smiling on me a little bit, and I decided to reach up top above where people usually hide things or they have extra stock, and I pulled out a second one that um, hadn't made its way to the shelf yet, so it's it's not pun been punched yet. So this is probably I'll probably get a case to put this one in and never open this one. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This one has the punch cut out where it was on the uh, the peg, and then this one does not. So I was really stoked to find this, and I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll get some sort of a casing and put him up, and uh, I'll open this one and check him out. Leave this one in the box like uh, Sega Saturn SNK tells me to do. And uh, let's see, some other things I grabbed at Walmart. These little dudes here, these are some mystery mini figures, and they're also Masters of the Universe related. But they come in this really cool Snake Mountain case, and I don't know what's inside. I thought it might be cool to kind of maybe open these, do a little unboxing on camera right now, so we'll check out and see what I got. I ended up getting three of these just to give me better odds to get a Skeletor. So we'll crack this sucker open here. Let's see what we got. This is highly unlike me to even open stuff, so let's see here if we'll just pop 
pop open pop open oh I got a fake or pretty cool little muscly dude little fake he-man let's see here let's see if we can get a skeletor figure out how to open it I get that last one open all right we got a little trap jaw getting lucky with the villains here so that's cool all right last one third time's a charm Oh, dang it. Man of arms. Man of arms. Didn't get a Skeletor. Don't know when I'll be in that town again, so I'm probably not going to get any more of these. But that's cool. I got a fake horror and a trap jaw. So excited about those. Wanted a Skeletor. Too bad. Last toy I grabbed was not a Walmart exclusive. I pre ordered this on Amazon. Feels like, I don't know, six months ago. And it finally came out. This is a deluxe war machine. This is the 90s war machine. This is the like most awesome war machine. It's got all kinds of blast effects and guns and got a little 90s roadie head when he had the the kid and play box haircut. So I'm uh, super excited about this. I'm a pretty big war machine fan. I think he's probably one of the best characters uh, from from the 90s that I remember coming out in the 90s. Pretty sweet box art. All kinds of cool blast effects and, and missiles. Really stoked for this guy. Pretty sweet figure. And the last things I grabbed were some books from Half Price Books. Uh, first one I grabbed was the Resurrectionist by Thomas F. Monteleone. I actually pulled out a hardback of this and I uh, was with Lost Cunningham at the time and he's, he said, oh, you've read this guy before. I said, I have? He goes, yeah, he wrote that train book. I was like, oh, Night Train. Okay, that book was wild, so let me get this. So I grabbed the paperback and I went over to the next aisle and they had the hardback there. So I'm kind of a, I prefer reading hardcovers. So I'll grab the hardcover of this. Excited to read another one of this guy's books. Like I said, Night Train was just a blast to read. Real, real, real bat crap insane ending to that book. So hopefully this will be really cool too. And then had to grab the Mysterious Cat Stories. Because I love cats, love horror. So of course... We're going to check this out. It's got a lot of cool authors in it. Uh, it was Lovecraft, Robert Block, Bram Stoker, Washington Irvin. So, should be pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll start reading a couple of these pretty soon. I'm reading the Lovecraft now, so I'll probably read this Lovecraft story after I'm done with that book. So, that is all for the haul for now. So, until next time. Stay afraid.